Hey, what's going on guys? So I did a video on this uh, Spyderco Pride and I had mentioned in that video that this was on the same pattern as the Navigator. Now, although I don't have an original Navigator, I do have a Navigator 2. <clears throat> There's another one I uh, dug up to be, uh, you know, put on the chopping block for a sale. But I figured I'd make a video on this. So here's a little closer shot of this guy. All right, this was uh, made about three years later in 2005 after the uh, Pride there. And again, this is a Navigator 2, so it's not the exact same design as Navigator 1. In fact, this one was never meant to be a, a permanent uh, model in the lineup. This was uh, a limited release, uh, so to speak. So this one was offered in VG10. All right, you can see it's an all stainless steel design. We have a pocket clip here. It is tip down, right side carry only. You can see some Phillips head screws for the hardware there. It is a lockback as opposed to the dedicated slip joint or non-locking knife that the, the Pride was. All right, this one was a part of the Collector's Club. This was number 115. You can see the 115V on top of the blade there. Might do a separate video in the future talking about the Spyderco Collector's Club because people do uh, have questions all the time about that. But uh, anyway, fantastic knife. Just a little stainless steel pocket knife. Um, locks up fantastic. But the, uh, the ergonomics are, are really wonderful in this. So we have the first finger choil, the second finger choil, the third finger choil, and the fourth kind of half choil, let's call it. Doesn't quite wrap all the way around but your fingers do lock in, into this uh, handle you know, very, very nicely. It feels kind of like having some brass knuckles or something. Um, just gives you a very secure, firm grip. Uh, obviously, all the regular drawbacks of having a stainless steel knife in the wintertime when it's very cold, if you have no gloves and you're standing outside for more than a couple of minutes and this is clipped to your pocket, this gets freezing cold. So when you go to use it, <laughs> cold metal is uncomfortable. That's the biggest downside. Obviously, for some people, weight might be a concern. It is a little hefty considering it's a uh, smaller size here. But, um, but yeah, obviously it has all the strength of stainless steel and has that particular look if that's what you're going for. It does have a, uh, a lanyard hole on this guy. And other than that, that's pretty much it. Just a you know, straightforward, simple little model, but a knife of yesteryear. So I thought I'd break it out here and uh, do a little video on it. So there it is next to the Spyderco Pride. So that's all. If you guys happen to have this knife, let me know down in the comment section what you think of yours. These have been in the collection for many years, uh, but just time to give it up. Out with the old, in with the new. So that's it for this one. Hopefully you guys have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.